Calgary, Alberta, where I lived my whole life. Um, I graduated in 2014. Um, at that time, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, and that was like totally okay with me. Um, I believe that post-secondary would turn me into some kind of like corporate fun-hating robot, and um, that's not something that I wanted to pursue at all. Um, at the time, I had been working at the YMCA as a lifeguard for about two and a half years, so I was super comfortable in that workplace. And going in Monday to Friday, 40 hours a week was super easy for me. Um, I worked with a lot of really close friends, um, two of which I actually keep in contact with to this day. Um, over time, like after working there for a while, my friends actually moved away. One of them went to travel the world, and the other one went here to Lethbridge to study computer science. Um, and when that happened, it started to make going in Monday to Friday really difficult for me. Um, I started to notice that the workplace was full of just like the same gossip over and over again, and like the same kids breaking all the rules. Um, I actually had a really bad falling out with one of my managers, so it just kind of made it like a toxic work environment for me. Um, and I just stopped enjoying like going to work, and I wanted to think more about my future because I felt like I was just kind of like floating through life without um, any real purpose or, or plans for my future. Um, I remember coming home one night and um, finding a quote from one of my favorite journalists, Hunter S. Thompson, and he said that a man who refuses to make a choice will have it made for him by circumstance. And I thought that really related to me because I was just on this path where I was just kind of like floating, and um, if I didn't actually put a plan into action for the future, I would end up doing something with my life that I didn't actually enjoy. Um, so I started to search for post-secondary programs that applied to like my interests, and I've always um, enjoyed like taking photos and telling stories. Uh, so I applied to SAID for the journalism program, but I soon realized that I actually wanted to move away. I believe that that's like a big part of the school experience is being independent, you know, feeding yourself, buying your own clothes, all that stuff, like getting out of my mom's basement. Um, so yeah, I applied here at the college. And um, now that I've moved here, I'm like super happy. I feel like I'm actually being productive again and I'm learning and um, I'm working towards the future, which is like super reassuring for me. So yeah, that's uh, a little bit about me. Um, I can't wait to learn more about you guys and get to know you guys a little bit better. Sweet.